God. So, what do we do when we get Javier? Back? Well, I'm gonna get the hell out of here and set sail for the one place. Ain't nobody gonna be expecting us. Oh, uh, get everybody together and get ourselves back on course. Where would that be? Place we just escaped from. <laughs> you want to go back to Sandini? If it was you got left, you'd want us to go back. I'd want it, but I wouldn't expect That's it. That's the point. Ain't no one gonna expect it. We come back from the dead, gather everyone, and we leave before anyone realizes we've even resurrected. Insect bite you or something, cause you gone, friend. We look like what we are. A bunch of desperados on the run. But with the women, a change of clothes, <laughs> we're a choir or a gang of pilgrims or something. Whatever you say. A bunch of penniless fugitives on some Caribbean dump. Sneaking through caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. Hold on. Why? Gloria! Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Dinero, the money, the gold. A key. Damelo. Oh, it's genuine, the old hag. <gasps> vamos, vamos, rápido. Now that gold right there, that's the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. The rest of it is at the bottom of the sea. Exactly. chance we have right now of getting out of this place. Won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. So what happened with John and that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know, when I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. I still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. Nor am I quite, but that many Pinkertons arriving like clockwork once again? The door is stopped. You will have to lift it. Pardon me, my queen. <clears throat> Arthur, come help me with this. Just lift it. Okay, then. Jesus! Easy, Dutch! 
What was that? Horrible old crone. But she killed her. She was going to betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. She was. You sure you're all right, Dutch? I am just trying to make sure that some of us survive, Arthur. Now, shall we proceed? I guess. Listen, <clears throat> son. You think I want any of this? I don't know. Of course I don't. But I made a pledge to you all. We would survive. No matter what. So how did you know she was going to betray us? What'd she say? It was in her eyes, in the way she was leading us. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings. Arthur. Well, maybe we've all just gone rotten. I'm doing the best I can. I come from Mexico. I never met those men. Does anyone believe him? No. Mr. Simon doesn't believe you. Even the mule doesn't believe you. Eso, Mr. Paratán. Si que deja de actuar. Sabemos que no estuvo tan fuerte. Fue bastante duro. No. La próxima vez será aún más duro. Bueno. Ha sido un placer. Siempre me encantaron los mexicanos. Some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. On my count, you take the one on the right. I'll take the left. ourselves a little distraction and then poof we will disappear take the other side of this door ni es una civilización un país civilizado me podría costar mujeres que usan zapatos quieres algo de tomar como sabías porque te conozco sí Escondí una botella. Voy a buscarla. Gracias. Okay. You take the nearest one on the left. I'll deal with his friend. Es una mierda. Es lo más bajo de una civilización. Over here. A diversion. Uh, what do you think? Find another old lady to strangle? That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff up. <laughs> exactly. You got any dynamite? Oh, no, we don't need dynamite. We got a furnace and lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> no problem. You'll see. <clears throat> Go close the windows and the doors. Go on, quick. Yeah. <sighs> 
Creating enough dust. This place is go.
not, he'll be fine. I'll get him out of here. You stay here. Take care of the bones a bit. No problem. Go quick.
¿Quién eres? 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 Ah, tenemos un huevado aquí, ¿eh? Tenemos un huevado. Voy a despertar, ¿eh? ¿Quién eres? ¿Quién eres? ¿Ah? ¿Ah? Por última vez, ¿eh? ¿Quién eres? Ahora sí, ¿quién eres? ¿Quién eres? ¿Ah? ¿Quién eres? ¿Ah? ¿Ah? ¿Quién eres? ¿Quién eres? ¿Quién eres? ¿Ah? 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 ¿Quién eres? 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 ¿Qué estás haciendo aquí? ¿Qué estás haciendo aquí? ¡Vamos! ¡Soy un americano! Mi nombre es Leviticus Cornwall. ¿Quién es este hombre? ¿Ah? No lo había visto antes. Me estaba siguiendo en el bosque. ¡Un tipo raro! Mi abuelo siempre dijo que la Guarma era la isla de la que Dios se había olvidado. Y después de estar aquí un mes, entiendo a lo que se refería. No hay nada aquí. Hay que regresar. Dar solo tres meses más y a casa. Por favor. Ok. They moved. Come on. Keep close behind me. Look out. Let's go. Stay close. The guard, keep out of sight. Two more ahead. Take cover on the other side of the store. Ratas? Criado por el mismo diablo. Follow me. Let's go. ¿Qué tal va todo para allá? Ya casi acabo. ¿Saben? Por mucho que disfruto viendo un socialista colgando. Ahorcar es un trabajo tedioso. ¿Ah? ¿Qué fue? Toma demasiado tiempo. Estás enfermo. Toca ver cómo sigan los prisioneros. A ver si el gringo ya abrió la boca. Claro que abrió la boca. Siempre lo hacen. Bastardo! Ah! Get them down from there! Shoot 
the ropes! Thank you. My pleasure. This place makes me miss home. Take care, my friend. Hercules getting a boat lined up to get you and your men out of here. Just meet him at Cinco Torres. We'll be there. Good, good. Here, this is for you. Thanks. It's not much, but it's the least we can do. Good luck getting home. It's like I said, Fusar knows who you are and knows the price on your head. It's a big problem. Uh, I see. But if we can silence him, then I can help you escape before anyone has time to get here from America. That way, we all get what we want. We want to get the boat you promised us. And you will. But you have found yourself in the middle of a war, my friend. Fusar has called in the Navy from Cuba. There's no way a boat could live right now. Hercule! Hercule, s'il vous plaît! Vite! Vite! Come. Follow me. Quick! So now we have a real problem. This must be the boat he called in from Cuba. That's a goddamn warship. You kind of have to hand it to this fella. So I guess great minds think alike. So what now? We fight or we win. Any of you boys feel like running? So what do we do? I will go get the cannon ready. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> Fork! Shoot them, man! Shoot them! Fellers on the beach! I see. There's more coming down the right side of the beach! Let's prepare.
I say we push forward, because if we don't, we're going to die here and now. Okay, then. Follow me? This is kind of fun.
from here. Come on. That was quite some shooting, boys. Thank you. What now? Oh, they'll be back. But I found a boat for you. And he should be arriving on the dock any time now. Great. Micah, go meet with the captain. If he's amenable and discreet, tell him we'll be ready to set sail soon. Bill, come help me collect poor old Javier. Sure. And cool, it was a great pleasure to make your acquaintance. I was dead for sure. Hi, boys. We got a real problem. Nice Mr. Bussar don't want us going nowhere. He knows just who we are. If he can keep us here for a few more days, well... And what about the captain of the ship here? They got him trussed up like a hog. Guards all over the place. Got us surrounded with gun positions, so when we try to sail out, he's gonna blow holes in us. This fella is really beginning to try my patience. He ain't even had you tortured yet. <laughs> I like the man's style. He's thorough, nasty, and vindictive. In this instance, I don't see we got any alternative, but we go and free our friendly captain and destroy the artillery. For once, I agree with you. Hey, cool. Oh, I'll fight Alberto Fusa every day I can. All right. Bill, you're going to guard Javier on the ship here. Micah, Arthur, let's get to work. Hey, cool. we follow you. Anale, this way. Quick, let's get up around the back of that artillery post. Secured properly, cowpoke? I think so. Knowing you, I have my doubts. Shut up, my kid. <laughs> Come on, run!
out above us. On the roof. Come on. There's another set of cannons up ahead. I got you now, you bastard. We are all bastards, my friend. But only one of us is some would-be emperor's whore. We know who you are. And nobody knows who you are. Not even your goddamn father. You maggots are going to die. Eventually, I'm sure we will. But not today, and not because of you. The U.S. Navy is on the way. I am sure they are, which is why you're going to let us leave. Or you are dying right here, my friend. We've killed better men than you fools. Enough? Oh, I've had enough of this, Arthur. Hear me! <laughs> Save my life. Thank you, Captain. I suppose you men are my cargo. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am sorry you got hurt. Uh, Captain Sam. Let's go. Gentlemen. Back to the ship. Come on. What happened to Fusar? He escaped? I did. 
didn't see him. Damn it! They have sent reinforcements. Up there, in the tower? Yes. Yes, that's him. This goddamn idiot. Come on! He's shooting. We have to take him down. Out there. There's another cannon up ahead on our left. Can you get to that? I'll try. Here. Captain, can you handle the ship? I'll be fine. Come on. We'll get going with the tide before I get any more surprise interviews with local officials. Are you going to be okay? We'll be like you. We'll disappear probably. Back to IT. Believe me. We'll be long gone by morning. Good. Thank you. Oh. We survived. Just about. What now? But what now? What do you mean, what now? I mean, we're headed back to Lemoyne again, and we're all wanted men. We slip ashore one by one, find out what's what. We don't cut and run now. Head back to Blackwater. No. Why not? Because the last thing they'll be thinking is for us to turn up. We've been on the run for a while now, and it feels like, like our luck has turned. You know? And I ain't turning back. We had a good run of it, I guess. We ain't even played our hand yet. We just need to put some more money in our pockets. Make our escape. Broke? Alone? They're gonna pick us off one by one. And you know it. Maybe. Not. Maybe. We need to split up. Keep a low profile. Try to track down the rest. But carefully. See if they send any mail. Arthur, you check Shady Bell. We'll find each other eventually. We always do. And then what? Then we meet up. We gather the family. We get some money and get the hell out of there. That's the plan. We all acting crazy. And that's not what I thought we were going to be doing here. We have here. been in a bad way. Listen, I will kill for my family. Any of you want to judge me for that? That's fine, but that is who I am. Anyone disagree? Anyone?
Forgiveness for a price. Thank you. Really. Thank you. 
Arthur's here. Oh, Arthur, oh, you're alive. Just about. <laughs> Something sad. Come on, it's raining. <laughs> hey, everybody, look who's here. Hey, y'all doing? Uh, hey, old man, wake up. Hey, Arthur, they got John. Good to see you. Yeah, he got arrested. He ain't hung yet? Not yet. They moved him to Sisica. He's been working on a chain gang. <sighs> Howdy. find each other. What happened? Can can somebody give me a cup of coffee or something? It was Mrs. Adler who saved us, Dutch. After the robbery in Saint-Denis, she got us away from the camp before the Pinkertons turned up. Then Mrs. Adler and Mr. Smith drove away the degenerates of her living here. Mrs. Adler, we owe you. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you. It's been real hard, Dutch. We... We've been surviving, but only just. What we gonna do? Things have been tough. There ain't no doubt about that. Trust me. I am gonna get us out of here. This ain't over. Ain't none of you folks interested in our adventures? Mm. Guess we're more <laughs> interested in escaping the hangmen on our tail? Cheerful nymph of the prairie, wasn't you, Abigail? Oh, sure. My fair heart jumps for joy when I set eyes on you, Micah. <laughs> we buried Hosea Dutch. Charles and I stole his body from the law one night and gave him a proper burial. It was real nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here you is. Well, I asked everyone I could find, and eventually someone new said you fools were out here. Shit. Give me a drink or something. Get your own damn drink. In our absence, Mrs. Adler here has been looking after things. Now sit down. This is Agent Milton with the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Already? On behalf oh, of shit. Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tor, the United States government... And the Commonwealth of West Elizabeth. Here we go. We are here to arrest you. Come out with your hands up. Give them to a count of five, then give them everything. Actually, let them have it. No! Uh, ask everyone you could find, did you, Bill?
saved us, Arthur. Well, me and Bill and Sadie. <coughs> you okay, son? Sure. We ain't been back for more than a few days. What, what do we do, Dutch? Clearly, we need to leave. It'll take them some time to regroup. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, start packing up. Javier, you and Bill, get out of here. Go scare off any scum still loitering about. We need a couple of days. Now, please, gentlemen. Sorry. What next, Dutch? We just need some time. I just, I, I need some time. Now, we can't go east, because then we'll be in the ocean. So we're going to have to go north, I guess. I just need somebody to buy me some goddamn time, one of you. You'll figure it out, boss. You always do. What are you going to do about John, Dutch? John? He's in jail. Well, we'll get him. Abigail, just not not yet. There's talk of hanging him. It's not going to come to that. Dutch! Not now, Miss I. Not now. I'm begging you to. They're going to hang him and break my... The boy's heart. Please, do something. We will. Okay. I'm going to go figure out how we rescue this bastard. No. Yes, now. Give me a Doyle's Tavern on Million Avenue. Okay. My lord, what a goddamn mess. Everything. Not sure what happens next. The whole thing has been hard on all of us. Most of all on Dutch who seems half crazed by all we gone through. Okay there? Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back. And I'm sitting here. And I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pickertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. Oh, but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my my final move, but... I guess I'm more interested in surviving than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What's our move here? You sound like Hosea. I miss him. I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we going to run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now. And I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we just... There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you could take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. 
Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Charles, will you ride with me? Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brew Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. I understand. I can. What are we doing there? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while your boys were away. And? Mm. We'll see. Oh. I know the way. Follow me. We need to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah, the sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? I say we just ride it. It ain't worth messing around with boats. Okay, sure. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there, keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition to yours. <laughs> Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh, I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Hey, you're right. Just... It's been... Uh, guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? This way while you were gone. I ran into Rainsfall and Eagle Flies, the Indians. And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. Uh, that's 
not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. A place called Beaver Hollow. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Great. Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here. It's not a crazy idea. You see that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. It could be some of them. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me. Stay quiet. Let's get closer to him. Come on, up this way. Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Because I do the skinning. Well, how about I do the skinning? Then who do the care? What are you waiting for? You're a son of a bitch, you know that? Good job. Uh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Come on. Stagecoach went missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? We can head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Dynamite be safer. Get this over with. this over with.
looks like it's on there, Charles. Andersburg. What do we do with her? We take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Andersburg, right? Yes. They... Okay, miss. The others, they, they killed them. You're safe now. Just try to breathe. They're animals. I know. Yeah. It's all right, miss. Why would they? Some folks just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days.
Annisburg, right? Yes. They... 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 they um, it's okay, miss. The others, they... They killed them. You're safe now. Just... Try to breathe. They're animals? <laughs> trying to explain it. Yours. Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, ma'am. Murphy Brood got her. Oh, my darling. How did you manage uh, to... I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and keep her safe. find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. Sir Dodge! Did you miss me? I found her drunk as Saint Denise. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and drunk. The master, the Lord Molly, God, all my... calm down. I won't Lord, Josh Vanderlyn, I haven't him. I ain't her. I ain't your stooges. Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? Yeah, I told them. I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, shoot me. Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on no, me. You betrayed so now, me. What? You calm down. Arthur? Ah. She's a fool. Get her out of here. Ah. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, your majesty? You... Damn. <laughs> She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? 
Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. Yeah. the day. Morning, Arthur. Yes, hello. Morning. Thank <laughs> you. 